Welcome, Elbert Dorge, the former president of Mongolia. Thank you Thank for you. being on WPC TV and for coming to this conference. Um, let me ask you, I mean, Mongolia has a particular geographic position in the world. How, has, how are you taking advantage of, or not, as the case may be, of, the chi of China's one belt, one road um, impetus? You know, Mongolia located between China and Russia. Historically, Mongolians were the protectors of the Silk Road during Genghis Khan and Hublai Khan time. And you know, Mongolians actually built largest land empire ever existed on the earth that there was the Silk Road connecting the Europe and Asia and Persia. During that time, actually, Silk Road had at the height of their development. And of course, one belt, one road system is a new version of the Silk Road. And also, there are sea dimensions and sea and through land. And Mongolia is between China and Russia. And because of that, uh, we are really looking forward to benefit from that great initiative. This is the, I think, largest infrastructure initiative or project human, humankind have seen. But, it, but if you are a small, I don't mean geographically small, but small in terms of population, between two very big neighbors, neighbors does that pose problems for you? Uh, that's the also problem, also opportunity means that uh, we are Mongolia is sharing the longest land border with China, 3,700, uh, 4,800 kilometers, 3,700 with Russia, and we, we are just next to the world's biggest market, developing market. Because of that, we, we, we are taking advantage of that. So the potential. Of, of the potential. Of, of course, there are some issues. We have economic issues, but we don't have any political or border disputes with our neighbors. We have really friendly relations, and we have a high-level summit meeting every year. President of Mongolia, President of Russia, President of China having a meeting. And also, there are trilateral issues. Most, uh, most of the main topic, of course, infrastructure related with this belt initiative. Well, it's very good to hear positive views yeah. from national leaders um, with based in reality as well. So thank you very much, Mr. Abadosh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.